similar experiences? I have no idea. Probably a lot. Generally, American Probably. Airlines isn't that great. No, but that's what I'm saying. I'm saying is they're making race out of it. Well, again. so I think it's I think it's completely. So they have bad service, therefore it's racism. You say they're making race out of it again. It is the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, right? Which is not. I, I think that's out of favor now to say that. But of I, course, the, it, I. The, to me, this is just like I don't know. Um, Black Lives Matter, where they say Black Lives Matter, but they don't mean that other lives don't matter. They're just focused. Yeah. Well, so I, of course they're a, going to advise black travelers. I have an old friend that uh, he's in his. 80s. I'm saying I don't think it's racist. Yeah, I know. Uh, old friend, he's in his 80s, and and he worked uh, around the state doing like construction stuff and he was telling a story and he he'll say you know i was i was down in midland and i uh i was working with this colored guy and i'd go wait a minute wait a minute what color was he yeah and yeah he go, well <clears throat> he was black what do you mean i said well you said he was colored i just wanted to make sure he wasn't green green was he okay yeah <laughs> he was blue he wasn't looked, moving of course then he gives you gives you the stink eye yeah <clears throat> assault <clears throat> sexual assault actress uh george w bush apologizes for test touching heather lind in in my point, and I will be hated for this, is that wait a minute she should be what he apologized. Yeah, he did. He came out in public apologized, or his publicist or whoever spokesperson. So did. he actually did it. Yeah, there was a photo shoot, and like he does everything, he's in a wheelchair and he put his arms like around somebody's waist, like you would for a photograph around their around their shoulders. But his arms aren't very strong, and so they tend to to go down. And I bet they do. Yeah, I, mine too. Grace, her, terrible. Her butt. Yeah, and no. then she told a, a, she said an off-color joke, which they said he tells everybody he meets. Off-color jokes. The same joke. <laughs> oh, good for every good. For every person. Okay. Meets, same joke. What joke? I don't know what it is. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, but uh, I would be. I, you know, this is why complain about that. Look at the story. That she could pass down to her great great grandkids, and they could say former President Bush. Yeah, no, well, just a president. You know that great grandma. You know she got her butt patted by a president yeah. of the United well, States. I, so okay, I'm gonna. And they say, was it Trump? Because you know he's still in office. <laughs> <laughs> His 27th term. Yeah, we thought it was Obama that was going to oh, do that. Turns boy. out it's going to be Trump. He's going to build a wall. We're all stuck here. Oh, that's There's what I'm worried president about. President Trump, because we can't fly. No, That's what you're saying or climb or dig. There's no ladders or dig, or <laughs> take a boat, explosives, <laughs> anything like that. We can't do it. We won't have what, guns what I, <laughs> or shovels. But yeah. just, just, just get in the box car. We have drones. Don't complain. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I'm. I, I think that you're trivializing a sexual assault. I know. That's why I whether said it's I'm a president be or not. I, I know. I know. What if it was the other way around and it was Hillary Clinton that patted a guy on the ass? Well, he could tell his grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll show you the scar, <laughs> the burn mark <laughs> where she touched me. Ugh. All right. We can skip the reps, all the reps wanting to retire and get out of the Republican uh, Party. It turns out they're blaming Trump, but sure. what's actually happening is they have no spine and they're not doing good. Yeah. And so people aren't going to reelect them. Things have changed a little bit yeah. in in the nation, and you can't just skate along anymore right. as easily as you could. So they're blaming Trump for being all political and bad, but I think it's the opposite of that. I'm I'm so we can skip it. You're right. <laughs> I, well, we'll, we'll mention it because we're going to mention this, and this is what's sad. I thought the person that could fix the Senate was was Kid Rock. Yeah, he going to drain the swamp. The big, big he was swamp. talking about running for Senate. He was, and I think I remember when this first came up, I said he will not run but he, for Senate. He said, F no, I'm not running for Senate. Are you guys crazy? And by the way, pick up my new album that right. I dropped around that same time. Because yeah, he mm -hmm. was entertaining. Yeah, come the on. Idea. It was publicity. Oh, come on. To sell, a, to sell an album. With genius. I, 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 look, it was, the same, it was the same thing that Eminem did when he oh, yeah. released the rap about uh, Trump, sure. and then he was like, also buy my album. Right. And it worked. Ta-da. The difference is Eminem's been doing that since he started his career. Yeah. Kid Rock's just new at it. <laughs> All right. So this is, this one I want you to, I mean, I'm setting you up for this because I think this is just fine. But there is a, uh, a, a college, the College Ooh. of the Ozarks, has uh, a college mandatory. The, isn't that in Point Lookout? Uh, I, think I think so. I think that's where that one yeah. is. 
in Missouri. It's not very, far from Branson. Very familiar. Or Branson very familiar. Or Branson or Branson. <laughs> mandatory patriotic class. Patriot class. It's mandatory. You have to take this class. Okay. And it teaches you to respect the military. Okay. It teaches you how to stand and uh, face the flag and how to salute and how to say the Pledge of Allegiance. It teaches you about military history and tactics. You learn how to shoot a rifle. Ooh. And, uh, but you have to do it to graduate. Shoot. Shooting rifles is very patriotic. Now, uh, this, what makes it fine, I mean, at first I saw it and I said, well, that's unconstitutional. You can't force them to do that. But this is a private evangelical Christian college. How is that unconstitutional? Requiring them to take a patriotism class? How is that different than requiring them to take a Greek mythology class? I think it's a big difference. There's no difference. What's yes, the difference? Is. Yes, sir. Because is. you feel differently about the topic? Well, What's I don't think you can force somebody to be patriotic and by having to take a class. But you can, it's indoctrination you can force them to do them. division? Yeah, because that's white supremacy. Who did, okay. So is God. patriotism. You didn't. Ooh. Jeez, keep up. Oh, my goodness. You're right. Yeah, we should mandatory it for everybody. <laughs> so uh, flag protocol, all that stuff. And bake fruitcakes, I heard. Well, map reading. See, now, this is a note. To, there's like 1,500 students. This is a small, small liberal arts college. There's no tuition. When you go there, you do work. It's called Work You University or something like that. Or You Work is their motto <laughs> that or something. That would make more sense, yeah. Uh -huh. So you have to do so much, so much work. <clears throat> One of the things they do is they, they, they have a fruitcake factory, and the students make fruitcakes. They make about 100 oh, a day. Geez. And they've been doing that for 40 or 50 years. That's where all the fruitcakes are coming from. Shut this place down. But what I have to ask about, what I like about Christian universities, and this is going to make more people upset. Did is, you mention that it's a private college? I did. It's a private and Christian so it's liberal okay arts that they can require whatever they want they to They can do whatever they want, right. But you look at the morals ethic. In 2004, a professor there revealed that one of the college's deans, who's an administrator, Larry Cockrum had received his Ph.D. from a fraudulent diploma mill college. Okay. All right. And it was run out of a guy's house. <laughs> Not just the house, the basement. The basement of the house. And anything that happens in the basement of a house stays in the basement. Shady oh. and just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, even like studios or something. I can't imagine. So... Instead of saying, oh, thanks for pointing that out, we don't want to have fraudulent deans, the professor who brought the information was suspended for well, the semester, and his contract was not renewed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the college president defended the dean with a fake degree while he fired the professor who brought it up, whistleblower. But Co that's okay. Cockrum has now been appointed to a new position as president of the University of the Cumberlands. What is so, that? Yeah, well, it's another university so where he gets here's paid the a big thing. salary. I don't have a problem with that. I think it's fine if they want to have a fake. A, fake okay, uh, uh. <laughs> hang on, I got a text. Oh my! Did you lose your? You lost your? Yeah, they. It's that. See, that's why you oh, don't play with the dog. I was bored. Uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, was talking, oh. I know. Now, what I'm saying is, they proved right there that you don't actually need a valid college degree to. Do I don't, stuff. I don't think that's the point. I think the point was. No, that's that, the point I took away. I don't I know care. Is, you know he. What's why does it say morals? How, what does it have to do with morals? I'll put it there. Who who? It's immoral. Who, to def who fire, fire the? Who defines fire the messenger? Who defines morals? I do. It's a Christian college. I do. You know who defines their morals? I do. And uh, you don't need a degree. God is what I'm saying. Yeah. Socialist Pizza Shop closes after two years. I wonder why. It's called the Fair Wage Pizza Shop in Boston. Hmm. Did they, they pay a fair wage? They paid a lot of money to their employees. They, and they didn't. They, Go ahead. Sorry. Hurry. They, and they undercharged. Huh. And they went out of business. Because they were not being sure fair. Why. And do they, how many people are they paying and employing and feeding now? None. None. Yeah. Do you think they get that point? No, they don't. Because what the owner said is, well, we trained a lot of people, so they have work experience What now. an idiot. That guy's an so, idiot. So they can go out and, oh, wait a minute. They don't have jobs now. It'll be hard to get. Oh, boy. Ah. That's all I got. Socialism socialism fails every time it's tried. But they don't, want to, real admit, they don't want to admit that it's failed. 
because they're looking at it in a stupid way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's a good life experience. Yeah, Yeah. it is. Socialism doesn't work. Yeah. Yeah, I bet none of those people will open a socialist pizza shop, but we're out of time. Okay, there's a lot of restaurants around them that are still open. Socialist restaurants? No, that aren't. Weird. All right, see you next week. Bye-bye. Happy Halloween.